Hello, hello. We are doing an offline recording tonight, uh, today. Well, it is tonight. Of uh, Proto Deer NES. Proto Deer dot NES. Um, this is a homebrew NES game. Um, D. Vertov at the Homebrew Game Club requested a recording of the game. I just played through it uh, not that long ago, and I wish I'd recorded it, but I didn't. Um, but it should be a quick playthrough, so I figured I would just uh, play through it now while it was fresh. Uh, hopefully it won't take more than 20 minutes, um, and uh, you know it, you won't get my fresh reactions to it, but uh, you will get some of my reactions to it and some of my, my commentary and thoughts about the game. It's pretty fun. Um, it's a little bit challenging. Very interesting. Uh, the reason I played this is uh, because the Homebrew Game Club recently, uh, for the month of October, for Halloween, played through two games, uh, Traumatarium and uh, Protodeer.gb for Game Boy. Um, and I was very fascinated by the Game Boy game. And uh, this Protodeer NES, this is, I think I've seen this actually described as kind of like a prototype for the Game Boy game. Um, but the stories do seem to overlap, or I think the NES game maybe leads into the story for the Game Boy game. Uh, these are all available from Absur Games. Um, I'll include a link. In the description of this video. Um, you can check it out. Uh, you can get them for free. You could donate a few bucks. I usually donate at least three dollars uh, when I pick up a homebrew game. Um, usually three to ten depending on, on <laughs> how, how long I think the game is going to be and, and how much I think I'm going to like it. Um, but uh, I mean I think anything you can donate is, is great. And uh, I am thinking about doing more recordings versus live streams. Uh, I now have we now have a new baby in the house, and um, there that makes free time a little bit more challenging. Um, keeping an eye on the baby monitor. Hopefully, we can get through at least this game, this playthrough. And uh, yeah, I'd like to do more recordings of homebrew games. Uh, some of my first time playthroughs, uh, maybe just playthroughs of games that I that I really like. That kind of thing um, and see how that goes because it seems like I get a, a fair number of views on my videos after the live streams um, so maybe people won't mind so much catching me especially if I have commentary and camera on um, which I don't always do for my recordings so anyway let me get started I'm playing this on the EverDrive N8 Pro on a uh, unmodified front-loading NES with a RetroTank 2X Mini um, and using uh, OBS to record so I will get started now, and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to play through this as uh, well as I did, or better than I did the first time. So it's pretty trippy. Um, this version I haven't seen. I saw a couple of playthroughs of this game online, and they had a different, different sprites. I think this is a modified or revised version. I don't know what this guy is. Is he like a little turkey running around? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not. I I'm just completely puzzled. The other version that I saw after I rec after I played through the game um, it was just a block. Like it was a, a the guy was just a block. Um, so I don't know why he was updated to look like a turkey, a walking turkey. I don't know. Or maybe it's like a headless guy running around. I, I don't know. He looks like a big face. Having played through the Game Boy game, I have some. You know, it's it's pretty strange. Um, but anyway, you can go in and go through and you hit these blocks and you can collect these swords, which have limited time usage. Um, and that one's gone. And, uh, you have to hit B to read the text, um, and interact with things. Your sharp pointy thing disappears after a few seconds. So yeah, that one disappeared pretty quickly. The one thing I've discovered is actually easier and some of these, uh, challenges is you actually need to jump, uh, instead of climbing the ladder if you need to be faster. This kind of reminds me a little bit of um, a couple of, of later homebrew games, which are some, some games that I really like, uh, Battle Kid and uh, Khaled's Gamer's uh, Second Adventure, and it plays similarly to some of those tough platformers. This thing is a uh, tombstone. When you click it, click on it, I didn't know what they were for at first, but I realized later on that they are checkpoints, and these things, of course, will kill you. we have got 99 lives. I think my first playthrough I had about 80. Um, you'll see that the game gets a little bit uh, kind of trippy. Um, hold on, I'm trying to mute my computer. Um, things will glitch out, and it's actually all intended. So these, I think, are flames in the original version. They look kind of like weird little red broccoli. I don't know. Sour initialized. Press same button to interact with subject. So. 
some of the jumps, <laughs> some of the jumps are a little bit tricky, but um, I don't know what the points are for. Um, you do get points throughout the game, but I'm not sure why. I don't think there's any difference in the ending. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. So these early screens aren't too bad. Um, preparing deletion. All right. Controls are pretty nice. It's, it's, the jump's a little bit floaty, but not terrible. Um, I mean, it's all, I think, intentional. Um, it's pretty slick. It's a pretty, pretty sweet little game. Deletion process initialized. Proceed to delete. So you get these weird little messages, and having played through the Game Boy game, the Game Boy game seems to be all about your... Um, you're in a, uh, a computer, you're in a Game Boy game, and um, presumably cannot escape. Um, you're trying to f solve a mystery, or, or you're, you're piecing together a story. And this game has some narrative to it as well, but it's not quite as deep as the Game Boy game. These flowers, I don't think you can interact with them at all. I like the, the sort of the starkness of this game. The uh, Wait, what's this S? What is that? Oh, the points thing just disappeared. Um, you never can tell if something's a glitch or if it's intentional. I'm going to trigger this checkpoint. Now, these things look like coins that you would normally collect. Um, they actually will kill you. And these things that look like spikes that you normally would avoid, these are actually points. I'm not sure why the screen is wiping there, but those actually are points that you can collect. So it's kind of an interesting thing. It, this, just like the Game Boy game, it plays with your um, expectations a little bit, you know? And then there's just like trigger points. Uh, you don't know what you did, but you just hit a certain part of the screen and then you, you progress. Subject Sarah has manifested herself interact with the pair of eyes. And that's ominous. And uh, and there's, there's a pair of eyes. Um, I'm going to interact with them. Hi, my name is Sarah Gentner. Have you seen my daughter? And uh, Sarah does appear in the Game Boy game, and I believe her daughter does as well. There's all sorts of areas of the screen that you can can never access. Um, and again, I don't know what these points are, but I guess if they're knives, it's interesting that that collecting this the 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 weapons or collecting the things that should kill you uh, gives you points. Anyway, moving on. And then you'll see, catch glimpses of seem, seeming to be yourself running through the ma the maze. Oh, that's kind of scary. Just kind of crept, crept up on me. I have been here for a while. I think it was for a study about the Schumann re Resonance. Um, you, again and again. Was it you? Okay. Now this hall, I believe, appears... Oh, that's interesting, actually. Having played through this before, that hall appears um, later in the game, and I wonder if that's your character running that way, if you're interacting with yourself in this. Um, there's also no pause. There's no pause in this game. Observe responses by Sarah. Okay. So... Right... So that was weird, but that's it seems like a glitch, but it, it actually is, is intended. And then this creepy thing happening over here, I'm not sure what that is. Um, it's some sort of ghoul. I don't know if that's meant to be. I don't know what that's meant to be. It feels strange. It is not 1985 anymore, is it? So these games, uh, their kind of their their gimmick is that they're meant to be like artifacts from the time. So the Game Boy game is like a Game Boy game that you have found, like in your basement or something, and you play it and you kind of become immersed in it. And this, I believe, is the same sort of thing. This is meant to be like a, a, a lost like NES game. I actually forgot to read about the backstory of it. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Where clearly she has been stuck here since 1985, at the very least. So this is kind of like the t what I mean by um, the Khaled's Gamer's Second Adventure. Um, some of the, the the way that you handle the timing uh, reminds me of that. Oh, and there's my first death. Okay. Yeah, that was poorly done. Some of it's just and and Battle Kid it reminds me of Battle Kid. And yeah, 
You just gotta be fast. Yeah, so like, what? I'm like, I like the last time I killed that thing too, but I don't think it matters. No, you cannot interact with just the the single eyes, which that's a heck of a sentence. They are experimenting on me. I have been deleted and restored for a thousand times now, um, which again is kind of interesting. Um, Which you'll see when we get to the end of this. Uh, this one's tricky. So this is one where I think you have to jump up to go fast. And then you can get through this. Oh no. Phew. Okay. As opposed to trying to climb that ladder. Whenever I get restored, I always forget. So I never get the chance to escape. Please help me. So grim, so grim. This is one of the few screens where you get a little bit of slowdown. Uh, I'm gonna wait. And go. And go. And then there's this creepy dude hanging out there. I don't know, is that me? Like, I don't know what that's all about. So you can't really... Everything hurts. Are you the one deleting me? Like so, the, there was like two of them, two things that look like me. Okay, before I thought those things would kill me, um, but they don't. Apparently, they're just so strange, so strange, so very strange. Some of these sections seem to be repeating themselves, um, but they're not exactly the same. They, you know. These, I guess you can collect them for some reason. I mean, if you want the points. There's a block here. I don't think that matters. Okay. And then here I just collect some of these points just because I can. I'm not sure if, you know, again, avoid those, those coins. They look like coins. Oh, her eye's missing. That's great. Please do not restore me again, please. It hurts. Yeah, so the game, the Game Boy game, I really, I really do recommend. I have, I'm not sure I understand everything, and I kind of wish that there is a little bit more like agency and like more choices in the games, like that your your playthroughs matter, like the choices that you make in the game matter. But they do seem to be, despite the branching kind of areas or the the like wide maps, they do seem to be like fairly linear narratives. They are leading you to an ending and. I think the story is fascinating and very disturbing and um, absolutely worth playing through um, just to kind of experience it. Like, this is very unsettling, you know. Um, so you can kind of catch glimpses of other areas. And I'll just grab these. I don't know if you're, I don't know, you know, and, and you, you, you wonder things like, should I not collect any of those? Would that change anything? You know, I don't know. I think there's, there's only one ending for this, but I could be entirely wrong about that. So here, the first time I played through this, I did not go up this ladder. I, I went farther down. Um, and um, and then there's like another ladder, and I kind of skipped that one. And I came here, and I couldn't get any farther. And then I went up this ladder, and uh, I, for the sake of this playthrough, I'm going to do... The same thing I did last time. I don't know if it would be different if I went up the other ladder. And that's one of those things that, like, I question, like, how many different branches are there in this game? Um, can I change? Oh, I guess, can I go through there? There's a checkpoint. What? Did I do this last time? Nope. Then that thing killed me. So I did not do that last time. Um... You see, and that looks like another area that I'm going to encounter later on, but I'm going to go down this ladder here. Right, okay. And then you can actually just kind of, uh, kind of drop. I should have dropped the other way. That's okay. Yeah, those things are creepy. The, that looks like a torso. That might be Sarah. I, I don't, I mean, I don't know. 
kind of hard to see. So this thing, you kind of just got to like jump over this. Some of this is where the precision uh, platforming comes in. You can't, uh, oh, you have to, yeah, you have to jump from here. Whoops, I, and I missed it, okay. Um, you have to kind of like jump anticipating the next screen like that. There's another checkpoint. I remember spending a bit of time on some of these. I can't get back over there. On some of these screens. I did lose I did lose a bunch of lives. My first playthrough, I think I, I had about 80 something lives left. But some of that was I killed myself on purpose um, to kind of death warp um, back to a checkpoint so I wouldn't have to navigate annoying sections because I would fall and then I'd have to navigate back up. So I believe I have to go to the left here, but I'm going to run back over to the right real quick here. Oh, okay. Right. These things. Okay. There's, and, and sometimes it's like, should I explore or am I going to mess myself up if I do that? Um, like, can I actually get back to this, this path, you know? Um, okay, this is the one that Dave Hurtoff was saying was like really annoying. So you have to kind of stand on the and platform here and you have to do have to time your jump to clear these guys and then jump again. So this is where I, oh no, and I landed on the checkpoints and I have to do this again. Okay. This is where I would do the, de the, the death, um, death warp to get back to the other checkpoint. That's okay. Um, it gets a little bit annoying after we do these sections, but there, I didn't find the platforming in this that bad. Um, having played through something like, why did I run into that? Having played through something like, uh, like Battle Kid, um, it's like much easier, but it's the same kind of thing where each, each screen can sometimes be like a little bit of a puzzle and you're trying to figure out like, how do I clear it? All right, uh, this way, right? Okay. So, let's try that again. Right, and then there's like a torso. So here, if you go to the left, something's gonna kill you like instantly. So I'm not gonna, I'll do that. And then I'm gonna jump back. But you saw that guy there, like it was just gonna kill you. So you gotta go down here. And then this thing, again, you can kind of just drop down. Timing can be tricky. Oh, I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. I don't know if you can drop down there. What happens if you drop down there? Probably you have to repeat something and it's annoying. The checkpoints in this are very generous at least. Mm, I did better the first time. Oh man, wait a minute. Did that? Okay. Yeah, the checkpoints are very generous. It's like playing Operation. I did much better my first time through here. Wow. <laughs> I did much better my first time. Okay, I think I need to jump over that guy. Wow. What the? I did not have this much trouble my first time through here. It's because I'm recording it. This is very embarrassing. Man, okay. Yeah, I definitely did better the first time through. Okay, I didn't have enough height there. Whew. Yeah. Anyway, we're pretty close to the end there. So I thought I could get over to that thing, but I, I didn't have the opportunity. Um, this is where it gets a little bit hairy. Subject critical delete now. Anyway, that was embarrassing. 
So here you gotta just like grab this block fast enough. See, let me see where she ends up. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So this is one where you can run to the left and you end up in that other section. Like that. Which is just so weird. I'm gonna go this way though. Wait, no, I can't go that way. Okay, it does force you to do this. So that's, I feel like that's you running past at the beginning of the game. Which is interesting. You, again and again, was it you? And then I think it forces you to go back the other way. Oh, okay, then we're almost done here. So here, whatever you do, this, this block just gets smaller and smaller. And then there's the eyes and you can't really look at them. And then, ooh, this happens. <laughs> and then you hit that and there's nothing here, but if you hit the B button, it says, congratulations, subject Sarah has been successfully deleted and will automatically restore our next startup. And then um, that message just keeps coming back. I can't, I can't get it back. I can't get, I can't, nothing I hit actually t will take you back to the beginning of the game. But if you hit reset on the game, then obviously um, you'll get there. So uh, yeah, that's about what I was expecting, about a 20 minute playthrough. I know you can get through in like 15, 16 minutes, something like that. I, I was taking my time to kind of explain things. And then I had that section of like really stupid deaths. But uh, anyway, it's kind of a fun little game. Uh, you can find this on itch.io. Um, again, I'll post the uh, link um, to Epsir Games uh, in the description. And uh, let me know what you think. I hope you let me know what you think about the game and let me know what you think about me doing more offline recordings like this um, with a camera, with a microphone. Um, a lot of those would probably be like, you know, the, my first playthroughs, my typical like first experience of a game. And it's not as, as fun without the interaction of a live stream, but I do like actually getting, you know, documenting a game that I've been playing and uh, sharing some of these games, you know, with a, a broader audience. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.